moving the seven and swing. Number one hat band, home with flesh is a dead man. No rich side, these IVs are bad pants. Uh-huh. Once broke left hand, blood in the red sand. You know where I rep the desert land, where the desert land, baby, working with heavy hands. Hello, and welcome back to Truth 40's YouTube channel. Today, I want to warn black MGTOW about pro-black women. For some, the MGTOW road is not an easy road to follow. If your wisdom in MGTOW is not deep enough, you'll become lonely and weak. Like lonely and weak blue pill men, you will seek out the comfort of a female to ease your pain, which is like a black man going to a neo-Nazi meeting to find a friend. You must fully understand the philosophy of MGTOW. The men going their own way philosophy is about truly realizing that you must see women for who they really are and this gynocentric society for what it really is. As MGTOW, your overall goal in life is to find ways not to deal with women at all or use women for sexual release or procreation and get the fuck away from them. When it comes to using natural born women for sexual release, a MGTOW never sacrificed his health, his money, or his self-esteem just to get access to a natural born woman's moist hole. If you sacrifice any one of these things, you're just adding fuel to the fire of female arrogance. One true realization of MGTOW is, a woman role in society was never meant to go beyond serving men. And the ultimate goal is replacing women for sex and procreation through technology, making these worthless bitches truly obsolete. This is good news for all of you men out there who still have a soft spot for women because you're thinking about your daughter. Now men, you can do your best to raise a Nawalt but the natural born female instinct to leech off civilization is strong, so your chances of failure is high. That is why I use the term natural born, because one day we will genetically create the perfect female servant in a lab that only give birth to males. So men consciousness will no longer be weakened by the daughter thought. Just like any other female, Black women know they are not physically strong enough to force men to their will, so they try to use shaming tactics to get mental power over men. A true MGTOW is immune to all forms of shaming tactics. As a black MGTOW, we are familiar with the you gay shaming tactic by black women, but some black MGTOW are unfamiliar with the pro-black shaming tactic. Now, a common phrase used by these deceptive snakes is black women are queens. Any black female describing herself as a queen is not trying to bridge the gender divide, but instead is trying to be worshipped and obeyed. She will also refer to you as a black king, trying to get her foot in the door by stroking your ego. Any man thinking he's a king in this gynocentric society is just as delusional as a homeless man who think he's Bill Gates. One good thing about black women is they love to have a sex partner in their life, so it's easy to use a black woman for sexual release. Now, if black women cared about black people, black kids would not be in the messed up condition they're in today. You see, that's the real reason why there are so many single black mothers. Most black men don't have enough material possessions and money to qualify as a black woman's boyfriend. And most black men that do qualify are not dumb enough to settle down with a leech. So black women get a sex partner, get careless, stop using condoms and get pregnant by their sex partner, not their husband or boyfriend. MGTOWs exist in a present state of truth and work towards a future where natural born females are obsolete. If you cannot accept this mental state of pristine purity, then you're not worthy to be called MGTOW. Women have never created any society, so any pro-black bitch preaching the greatness of Africa is talking about something her gender had nothing to do with. Women have always just been along for the free ride when it came to civilization. 
At least in ancient times, those women embraced their purpose to serve men. But these modern day worthless sacks of human skin think that they're entitled to the best of what modern civilization has to offer just because they have a stinky wet hole between their legs. Black MGTOW stay strong, vigilant, and on your guard each and every time a pro-black female snake comes slithering around. Remember, her main goal is never about black unity. It's about her achieving mental control over you. The true definition of a Nawalt is a woman who love or like you for your mental and physical traits alone. She talks to you and treats you with respect, and she doesn't care if you don't have a car, a job, or a place of your own. Black men are the original creators of civilization itself, and pro-black men are their prodigy. So learn from the male originator, not the female imitator. Well, that's all for today, folks. Leave your comments below, and I'm out of here. Peace. Why you worry, you know? Why you know?